So now that we have generated a prompt to feed to Gemini, we will use that prompt to generate OpenAPI spec. And we want to generate this OpenAPI spec with our enterprise context, that is with various other APIs that we have in our organization and with the naming convention, etc., should be considered when we are generating this OpenAPI spec. For this, we will use Apigee's cloud code extension to communicate with Gemini and it will use our enterprise context. So let's put our prompt and generate it. So if I go to cloud code and go to Apigee section and click on this magic um, pencil button, it will open up a place where I can uh, put my prompt and I'm going to copy paste my prompt that generate an open API specification for code based inside service. And what is the task? Uh, I want to generate an open API spec with 3.0 specification. What is my API name? What is my API description and the endpoints which we uh, it should have and uh, also some additional notes that I want to write include clear description each endpoint should have and specification authentication and everything. I'm going to click on this create button. So what is happening here is Gemini is taking this uh, prompt which you are giving and along with an APG's API proxies which are already deployed and it's taking the different contexts like naming conventions and different APIs which we have and generating uh, open API spec for me. Now it will have all this context coming from our uh, enterprise context and different uh, schemas and it is generating the components and model for our uh, API spec itself. Now what we want to do, we want to publish it in APG's API hub and for that I'm going to go here and click on this publish to API hub. So what this will do is it will create the documentation in API Hub, which can be used by all our developers and uh, people who are going to read and use this service. So let's click on this, give it a name, codebase inside service with YAML and with few clicks, it is creating this uh, new API Hub um, um, entry for our code inside itself. And I can see here that it has been published and I can see information about code inside service. And if I go to APG itself and go to API hub section of APG and go on APIs. So now I will be able to see my code base inside service published in API hub. Within that, I will be able to see different information like owner name, owner email. I can make, uh, modify and add different uh, um, uh, information about a different taxonomy about my API itself. I can see multiple versions and I can also see different uh, linting uh, which is being done for this. And if I go down and see the de linting details, it, it is open API spec is giving you different warnings or information about uh, what you can fix for your linting. So you are creating a testable system and its services for your enterprise catalog with your rules. That's what you can do with API hub. Now, after creating this, I am going to go back and now I want to create a mock service. Now to create a mock service, it's as simple as that deploying it on cloud run using APG's cloud code extension. I click on this and I'm going to name it um, code base insights service. And then I read through that which project I want to deploy and it's a cloud run runtime, the region where it is going to be deployed and I click on deploy and it is going to say, have you read it? And yes, I have read it. Now with few clicks, it's starting to deploy APG's um, mock service on uh, your cloud run. So once the package is done, once the files are uploaded, a new service will be deployed on your cloud run itself. Now, while it is deploying, let's create an API proxy. So this proxy is what I'm going to use to expose my mock service itself because I don't want to expose my cloud run mock service directly. I want to have more API level controls. So for that, I'm going to click on this and create API proxy itself. So once I click on this, I can name it open API spec proxy. So let's name it as code base insights proxy and with one click 
I have a service available or apg proxy available and I can use this to create uh, or use apg's api management capabilities where you can get security you can get uh, analytics you can get governance control and you can create multiple services and uh, you can get modifiability maintainability and testability of your mock service and apg itself so once this is deployed so now my Cloud Run service is deployed and if I go to Cloud Run itself and if I refresh this so I have a new service which is code base inside service deployed and if I go inside this I will see that there is a um, um, code Cloud Run container which has been built it has set up its security as um, requires authentication which needs a workload identity has to be provided to access this uh, uh, cloud run service that's why we are cre creating an apg's proxy to use different things of uh, api management i'm going to copy this code base uh, uh, cloud run service url and replace it in a target server so re remove this default target and replace this here now i'm using this I'm using this uh, uh, Cloud Run target as my target server and then using apg CI CD process to deploy it to apg. I'm going to deploy it to apg itself. And once the deployment is done, this will look like something like this. If I go back to apg's proxy, I have a deployment done for code based knowledge based query API. And within that, what I have done, the API proxy is deployed. And if I go to targets and you will see that this code based knowledge query api is deployed and now if we see how it is running we will see the difference between exposing this cloud run service directly and through apg itself so now i am in um, my postman itself and you can see this is a cloud run service with this cloud run endpoint and if i make a call to this this mock service is going to respond back with a uh, mock data and this service is uh, using workload identity to be accessed so i need to create an account uh, service account and then get a token out, out of it and that token is used to access this uh, cloud run service itself and this is the content which is coming back but you will notice that i have a very high response uh, uh, time the response time is about 18 seconds but now i'm going to expose this using apg itself so i'm calling the same endpoint but this endpoint is now through apg's api uh, management and when and i have added some extra features so now this response is coming back from apg in 183 milliseconds and if i make this request again it is going to come very quickly in 761 milliseconds so i am adding caching and all and i'm also adding some more uh, features into this that i have api key access instead of using uh, tokens i'm using api key if i uh, don't send this apg is going to send me back the response that uh, it's not able to validate uh, and everything so i am able to use apg's api management functionalities and add all the features which apg is providing like verifying api key adding caching and there are tons more uh, policies available in apg itself so for example i can have data capture and whatnot so this is how you can create a maintainable modifiable and testable code using just the open api spec which we created with the prompt which we generated from our uh, model itself thank you